Gaming Nation to another episode of The Love Shack. I'm your host, Big Al, the Doctor of Love. July 16th, last Saturday, New Focus presents Red, White, Black, and Blue. It was a great event. The crowd was great. In FW Nation, you were great. You made some noise like I wanted you to. You let it be known. As you've seen, Linda Nelson, she won the love. She won the NFW Nation T-shirt because she was the rowdiest fan there. Congratulations! Now, we're, what we're going to do? We're going to go over the matches. But also, what I want to say is, Linda Nelson, you said your favorite wrestler was the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Vite. Guess what, sweetie? Mama Rich seen that. She says, "I tell you what, since she won that shirt and you said that's your favorite, she's going to bring him in." So, so next show, August thirteenth, Summer Explosion, will be Gary the Boogie Woogie Boy Valiant. Live at the Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro Drive. Now, let's go over, to, we're going to go over the card and uh, let you know what all happened. Uh, the first match, we all know, is Bobo Brazil versus uh, the German War Machine. And uh, Bobo's returned. He's been gone for a while. He had pro health problems, but he's back. And he's back with the winning record. He came back and uh, he won his first, first, first wrestling match back. And I'm glad to see you back, Bobo. I'm glad to see you back. So let's take a look at little Bobo in action here. There he goes. There's the pin. One, two, three. And there's the winner. Bobo's the winner. Now, Alistair Fair, Guido Andretti versus Envious. We got a little footage on that one. And uh, as you know, uh, Guido and Alistair came out on top. A uh, little questionable call there, but uh, that's okay. There you go. Guido and Alistair coming out on top. Now, the next one we got. Now, this next one was a f fatal four-way, but it was a fatal four-way for the light heavyweight title. Tempest was the champion. So it's Madman Pondo, Canadian Kid, Tempest with TJ Ushmangata, the Arabian, whatever, and a Two Tough Tony in a fatal four way for the NFW light heavyweight title. And of course, I think y'all know who won that one, uh, the Madman himself. So Pondo, if you want to keep that belt, you said you got, you got to lose some weight, gain some weight, you gain some weight. And there he is, Pondo. Coming out on top, Kenny Kid. It was a great match. Great match. Now, Vic and Cage fighting Vic's tri state champion, as you know, going against Cage Cutler. And uh, we got a little footage on that one also. If I can get it going, okay. Uh, Cage gave Vic all he could handle. It was a great fight. Of course, y'all know Vic came out on top. Uh, he remains a champion, tri-state title champion, and uh, his next opponent is going to be even tougher, as we all know that, Rob. And there he is, putting the hurt on, uh, putting the hurt on Cage. Bless his heart. Vic's one mean dude. One mean dude. Now, T Boat versus Nighthawk in a uh, return grudge match. Nighthawk uh, had the victory last time. So T Boat won revenge. And. Uh, he got a little bit of revenge, but we had a surprise ending. And uh, hopefully it will show it here. Look who's coming right there. There he is. Bobo. Surprise Tebow. Tebow didn't know what to do. Kind of got him off balance and wasn't paying attention. That, that gave uh, Nighthawk a chance to come back and do a schoolboy pin on him. So Nighthawk holds another victory over T-Boat. T-Boat hasn't beaten Nighthawk yet. And I 
I don't know if you're going to be able to, T-Boat Nighthawk seems like he's got your number. Now, okay, the next match is Lady Vendetta versus Epiphany. Oh, it was a great match. It was a great match. Uh, the both the girls, heart they were they were fighting like men. I mean, worse. I mean, they were tough. And uh, you see the outcome of that here in a second. We're gonna show you right here. Here we go. Look like your pippy has got Lady's number. And look at this. Epiphany's one strong woman. She got her up, and she's going to spice her, but she couldn't quite do it. Look at that. Lady Bennett turned it over, tied Stewart, turned it over, and got the pin. Lady Bennett returns her NFW Women's Heavyweight Championship title. She's the women's champion still. Still the champion. Go ahead and keep it on there. Now, the next match was for the NFW Heavyweight Championship, Iron Man Rob Conway versus uh, Oxygen Channel's bad boy of Love Games 2, Jay Mills, for the NFW Heavyweight title. And uh, we'll show you the outcome of that right here. It was a great fight. It, it went on and on. Both guys didn't want to quit. Both guys weren't going to give up. And uh, as you can tell, Rob did a spear. And he's going to put the final touch up on him. TJ trying to get involved. Thump his butt, Rob. Thump his butt. And there you go. Here it goes, right here. Rob gets the pin. Okay. Now, right after that, what you didn't see after that happened, we had a run in Master Rich, and all of them came out and attacked Rob, and uh, kind of hurt a little bit. But Rob's tough. He made it. He made a challenge. Uh, Rich said he's going to make Rob fight Vic the Bruiser Lewis next month. Of course, Rob don't care. Rob's tough. So next month, in a summer explosion, August 13th, Vic the Bruiser Lewis versus the champion, Iron Man Rob Conway. Now, one match that uh, I want to get with real quick is uh, the match with uh, Kevin and Scotty, Flash, and Rich. We're going to show you that real quick. Uh, it was a great fight. Uh, Flash and uh, Rich really gave uh, Kevin and Scotty one heck of a fight. I mean, it was all over, all over the building. As you can see there. But in result, now, you notice, Canadian Kid was supposed to be the special referee. But something happened, and I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. He, he wasn't able to come out at the beginning, but he came out there towards the end. And when he did, he was able to count one, two, three. Kevin pick, got the pin and won. Him and, him and Scotty overcame and took over and won the match between uh, Flash and uh, Master Rich. Now, here's the fun part. Master Rich got a hold of me. He said he wants me to call him because he's got something he wants the NFW Nation to see. So uh, we're going to get Master Rich on the phone and uh, we're going to see what he has to say real quick. And uh, let's get him on the phone. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun because I got something I want to say. Ask him anyway. I'm getting so nervous. Pick it up. All right. Whoa, whoa, ladies, ladies, easy, easy. I'm 
I'm on skates. I'm on right. skates. Hey, 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 who is this? All right, Master Rich. This is Big Al from the Love Shack. Oh, hey, hey, Al. He, he just ruined my party. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You wanted me to call you. Now, before we start off with what you got to say, I, I want to ask you something. Yes, I'm, sh I'm showing a video right now of the Canadian kid getting ready to get inside his referee outfit. Huh. And... And uh, all of a sudden, he gets attacked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't funny. And the, the camera went off. Uh, but I, when I when I talked to the cameraman and Kenny Kid afterwards, they said all they could hear was someone hollering about the people made me do it. The people made me do it. Now, I don't know what you, you know if you had anything to do with it or not. But you broke his ribs, uh, and he's, he's going to be off for a couple months, but he will be back. So I'm going to leave that right there. You know, when he comes back, I think he's going to have something to say to you. But now. I, I tell you what, if the toothpick feels froggy, then he can come in and jump anytime he wants. But it's probably Kevin Thorne. I mean, he hates everybody anyway. So I, I would never do anything like that at all. Ever. Okay. All right. All right. Ever. So I, I'd put my money on Kevin Thorne. That guy's a vampire, you know. He'd probably try to suck his blood. Okay. Okay. That's what happened. Yeah. Okay, now, you said you had something you wanted to have to hear. You wanted something to say. So uh, I'm going to let you have the, have the mic, sir. It's all yours. Well, well, you, you see, uh, as, I, I've been in this business for 10 years. Okay. You know that. You've been there with me most of the time. And for the last 10 years, all of these old, war stuff has been self-professed legends has done nothing but try to hold guys like myself back, like Flash Flanagan back, like Dick the Bruiser back, even my mentor Chris Champion back. So I'm getting kind of sick and tired of it. So you see, everybody knows that August the 13th, I'm already fighting that old, fat, disgusting, out of shape piece of trash T-boat in a hair versus hair match. Which, <laughs> at his age, he may not have any hair left come August 13th anyway. I want, to, I want to take out him out. But there's two guys that's coming to New Focus Wrestling on August 13th that I cannot stand. And you know, let me, let me ask you this now. When you have an old horse that just can't perform anymore, what do you do to it? Uh, Rich, no telling. What, I know what you would do to it. Well, you, you, you take it out behind the barn and you put it down. You yeah, that's true. Yeah, you got, you got a point there. You got a point. So that's what exactly what myself and Flash Flanagan's going to do August 13th to these two guys. Because you see, there's two guys. There's a guy named Doug Gilbert and another guy named Wildfire Tommy Rich. And those guys are probably like 264 years old. They've been in the business since Jesus was around. So I and Flash Flanagan are going to take those two out to pasture on August the 13th. So August 13th, Master Rich and Flash Flanagan is going up against Daniel Stud Gilbert and Tommy Wildfire Rich. August 13th, Summer Explosion. Is that right? That, that, that's correct. And then I'm going to beat up that old piece of trash T-Boat and shave what's left of his head. And you're going up against T-Boat in hair versus hair match too? That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling double duty. Because look, man, it's, it's going to take three old guys to equal like one young guy. And I'm a thousand times better than any guy in the business today. So I won't even break a sweat fighting three guys that night. At all. All right. Now, I, I, you know, that sounds too good to be true for the NFW Nation. They're going to love to see that. They are really going to love to see that. I'm going to love to see it. You got, I know you, Rich. You're not dumb. You're smart. You're mama's boy, but you're smart. Uh, I am. I am. So you must have something up your sleeve. I know. Is Charles going to be there? Uh, Charles will definitely be in my corner that night. All right. Then I, hopefully I can get hold of Doug, get old Tommy, and see if they see if they need someone on their corner to make sure to even out the sides. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, Al. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to give you a little advice, okay, kid? All right. Go ahead. Okay. If you come out there with Doug and Tommy... First off, make sure that, that their walkers are eligible to be moved. You know, maybe you want to charge up their, their their motorized wheelchairs to make sure they can get to the ring. But if you stick your nose in that match, Al, you're going to end up just like your boy did. 
Okay, okay. That's okay, okay Rich. You can say what you want to say. Cause like I said, I, I've got a little payback myself anyway for what you did to my son at Canadian Kicks. I know you and TJ had something to do with it because just like the, just like the, just like cameraman said, he heard he heard the product of people. He heard he heard the people made me do it. Then he heard some guy Jimmers Ima Gaba Duba, which means in Arabian, I think the people made me do it also. So you know that's okay. I'll be out there. I'll be in their corner. Yeah, they're all they're they're, they're legends. But they still got it going, and they're still tough. Now, I'll tell you what. You got your hands full, brother. You got your hands full. You think so? Well, hey, I'm going to let you sit there and let you fantasize about how those two old guys and the old man Tebow can do something while I go back to learn how to skate if you get my drift. Fine. Fine. All right, NFW Nation, you heard it. You heard it. Flash Flanagan, product of the people, Master Rich, with Charming Charles in the corner. Going up against Dangerous Doug Gilbert, Tommy Wildfire Rich, with Big Al in their corner. Master Rich also taking on Tebow in a hair versus hair match. Whew, that's going to be great. It's going to be, it's getting, summer explosions get even hotter because Rob Conway is taking on Victor Bruiser Lewis in an NFW heavyweight title match. Also, you want to be there. And also, thanks to Mama Rich, Linda, uh, whew. Oh, Rich has already got me fired up. The Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Vaint, will be there also. Riding that little choo-choo train. So, Linda, you got, you, you got it. You want it? He's going to be there. Evansville, Indiana, Metro Sports Center. 5820 Metro Drive, August 13th, Summer Explosion. You want to be there. Bell time is 730. See all these great matches. NFW Nation, Nation, Nation. Please, please, don't fight amongst yourselves. Lead the fight to us. Spread the love. Good night.